Hello, I'm Miss Sarah, and this is Virtual Makerspace. What are we doing this week? Well, as some of you may know, tomorrow, April 22nd, is Earth Day. It's a day where we explore and celebrate different ways to protect our planet. So in honor of Earth Day, your challenge this week will be to upcycle something in your home. What do I mean by upcycling? It's a little different from recycling. So when you recycle something, you take an item that you might normally throw away, and instead that item is broken down and the materials in that item are reused to make a new item. So for example, let's say we're going to recycle this paper. Now this paper would be broken down and it would have lots and lots of water added to it to create a paste called a slurry. Now this slurry would be rolled out nice and thin and left to dry, and when that's done, you would end up with new paper. Now on the other hand, if you upcycle something, you take an item that you don't want or use and turn it into something that you do want and you will use. So. If we were to upcycle this paper, we might fold it into origami boxes or roll it into tubes and weave them together to create a box or basket um, that we can use to store things. So from paper that we didn't have a use for, we now have something we can actually use. There are two different ways that you can approach an upcycling project. The first is to start with your materials. So you might have items in your trash or recycling like cardboard boxes or plastic bottles. You might also have items that you just don't use anymore like old toys. Or you might have items that are damaged or just not really usable right now like a puzzle is missing way too many pieces. So collect all of those materials and then you can either experiment with the materials to see what you can make or you can do some research to see what other makers have done with those same materials. There are lots of ebooks and websites you can search for inspiration or instructions. The second way to approach an upcycling project is to think about your final product first. So think about something that you could actually use right now. Maybe it's a place to store something, maybe you could use wrapping for a gift you want to give someone, or maybe you just need something to entertain yourself, something that you can do at home. So figure out what kind of product could help you fulfill that need then start collecting materials that you think you could use to make that thing. Now once again, you can experiment uh, to come up with your design, or you can do some more research and see how other makers have created similar products. Once again, there are lots of ebooks and websites out there that can help you get started. If you're looking for some additional Earth Day challenges, here are five more things that you can try. I'll be including links in the description. Number one, learn more about how different items are recycled and what kind of things can be made out of recycled items. Number two, learn more about renewable energy by taking a virtual tour of a wind farm or a solar farm. Number three, Experiment with wind energy by building your own pinwheel. Number four, experiment with solar energy by building your own solar oven. And number five, plant something. Bonus points if you can upcycle something to grow your new plant in.
once you guys have upcycled something in your home, please take a picture of it and share it with us at the library. You can post your picture to our Facebook at www.facebook.com slash FHCPL or to our Instagram. Our handle is at FHCPL. We are really excited to see what cool upcycle projects you guys will come up with and to share your work with other makers. And speaking of sharing, grown-ups, if you have not yet shared your information for the 2020 census, they have extended those deadlines. Uh, you can respond online or by phone. And if you want some additional information, you can visit 2020census.gov. Now back to the kids. I hope you guys have a lot of fun working on that upcycle challenge this week and celebrating Earth Day on April 22nd. And I will see everyone again next week. Bye.